So, what is generation seven mapping? Well, it's quite simply the seventh generation of ECU mapping which we have developed for the 2015 through to 2019 Yamaha R1. Um, quite simply, each incarnation has addressed and solved different issues and moved the flashing process forward, uh, giving you a better setup every single time. So I thought I'd just do a video now to run through everything which you get with Gen 7. So we'll start with fault codes. Um, basically when you change your exhaust system, for instance, and you remove your servo, it'll bring up a fault code. So we can remove that. If you change your steering damper, we can uh, remove that fault code. If you retake off the AIS, you can see where this is going. Basically, anything which is gonna create a fault code can be addressed and sorted out so that you won't have a fault code on the dash and it won't interrupt the running of your motorcycle. Second thing which we do is a custom fueling map setup. Um, we have built various different maps. We have a base map that we start with, and then this is tailored to your individual bike. Um, the injectors which are in your motorcycle are a mass produced item, and they have as much as a 15% variance in flow rate. I must admit, on the later versions of the R1, um, the injectors have been much closer matched, but they still have a variance. So, um, you can't just take a generic mat and put it straight into a bike. It doesn't work um, perfectly. You may be lucky, but most of the time you're not. So we need to do an individual fueling setup to make that work. Um, we can control ignition. Now the ignition timing is when the spark is fired in comparison to the rotation of the crankshaft. Um, so <coughs> um, we change the ignition timing to create more horsepower and in some areas, smooth power delivery. Um, fly-by-wire throttle is a massive part of the setup. Now in generation six, we use the fly-by-wire throttle um, to create different engine braking strategies. So uh, we worked with Simon Crayfire in Catalonia and we came up with four different engine braking modes or setups which we use um, with each one of the modes. So how we set the ECU up so that you have four power modes and each one of them is set up to give full power. We don't have one which is a wet map, they are all full power. They're also set up to have super soft throttle opening. So the transition from off to on throttle is incredibly gentle. Um, it's a, a bit of a trait of the bike that in power mode one, which is the closest to full power mode that you can get, that there's a big jolt as you put the power on. So you go to the middle of the corner, you tap the power on and the bike just shoots off makes it very, very difficult to ride in that mode. So most people use a different mode, which is softer and easier to manage. Well, we set it up so that all of the power modes are full power and giving 100% maximum horsepower um, with super soft throttle opening, which makes them really easy to ride even in the wet. Um, power mode one has the least engine braking. Power mode four has the most engine braking and two and three are somewhere in between. Really quite simple to work with um, and easy to use. Um, and you don't have redundant power modes which uh, won't pull the skin off a rice pudding or are really jolty and difficult to ride with. So um, just trying to make the most of everything which you've got in the ECU package. Um, so that pretty much sums up what you get with Gen 7. Gen 7 was um, a, a difference in setup, so we changed the way that the injector spray pattern, um, or sorry, the split on injectors, the firing point on the injectors was set up and we managed to create more horsepower by doing this. Um, it's uh, just a way which we've, we've found over the, well, the last 18 months of development, basically. So we've ended up with something which is creating a little bit more, maybe two to three, sometimes even four horsepower more than we were getting with the generation six, but it all goes in the right direction. Um, in addition to this, you can add a blipper. This can be done in one of two ways. It's either um, a blipper upgrade for flash tune or we can now do this uh, with Woolwich as well, where you can purchase race tools that will give you a blipper um, as well as a pit lane limiter. Um, there is also now available from us additional rider aids packages. Now, rider aids package has been available for some time using flash tune. Um, we wrote some maps and they were then translated into a package which we could insert for a license fee. Uh, sorry, buy a license file which for a fee which we could insert, allowing you to benefit from those settings. Um, essentially, it was different mode settings, uh, sorry, different settings for traction control, slide control, 
and anti-weedy, but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, essentially, that sums up what you get with Gen 7.